It was it was pretty rough yesterday. Yeah, that's bad. By the way, about 10,000 customers still don't have power across the area and the cleanup is still going on. Now, while no part of the city was untouched, areas right near the Lake Erie shoreline, boy, they were especially vulnerable, as is usually the case from the city on down to the south towns, as we hear from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. The impact was far and wide throughout the city. 34 whole trees down. And even in areas that don't have a lot of large trees, if any, the damage was apparent, like at Shays Buffalo, where wind gusts of near 70 miles per hour peeled off roofing material damage, which wasn't actually discovered until this morning. We, along with uh, my deputy, Francisco Guzman, uh, are, are procuring an emergency contractor who's going to do a repair uh, so we can keep that safe. Fortunately, the inside of the venerable landmark was not damaged. Areas of the old first ward and Buffalo's waterfront had a double whammy to deal with. The high winds felt throughout the city were augmented by 11 foot waves on top of the eight foot rise in the Lake Erie water level due to a sage, which flooded areas 100 feet or more inland. The damage was evident at, among other places, the Harbor Point Village. The force of the storm was astounding. Air conditioning units ripped from their foundations, and these are actual bricks torn from walls. As bad as things look here, though, we've heard of no one being put out of their homes. Unfortunately, that's not the case in Hamburg. Well, there are two homes that I think are lost. Uh, the damage is so severe. Hamburg Supervisor Jim Shaw says they're in the Hoover Beach area. From what I can determine, two homes have, have really lost the back of their the back of their houses have been, been uh, washed away. Yes, sir. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.